Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jay here, and I welcome you back to another episode of Take Two on Soundstage. Now, this one was reviewed by Doug Schneider on June 1st, 2020. So you can go and read it on SoundstageHiFi.com or by clicking on the link below the description. He goes into much more detail than I will in this video, but in this video, I'll tell you my story with this amplifier. So first things first, this amplifier is not for you. It's not for the consumers. It is in fact to test out their Purify module, the Class D amplifier module that they have. And this is supposed to be sent out to different manufacturers who are potential customers to them in terms of taking in their Class D module in their amplifier like the NAD M33 that is going to be coming up for review very soon on Soundstage Take 2 here. But this is really interesting because as reviewers, Doug and myself get to hear this and report back to you guys on the promises of the Class D module that they have from Purify. But what also makes me kind of sad is that this is not for consumers and there's no price tag on it. I really wish that this came into market and that's how good this amplifier is. And it's a Class D amplifier and if you know me, I am not a big fan of Class D amplifiers. And I know some Class D amplifiers sound fantastic, but for me, on, on a personal level, I've never gotten to really appreciate the Class D sound um, you know, and they, they all sound class D to me. And then this little class D amplifier comes in and I was okay with the idea. Doug offered it to me, so I thought, why not? And I wanted to try it. Now, I didn't have high hopes for it because I've heard past Hypex designs that were very hyped up by many people who enjoyed that sound. And a lot of people, you know, liked ice power um, class D modules as well. But for me, it was never as good as a class AB sound or, you know, a class A sound. And that's just personally me. Maybe I'm an audiophile snob, but that was, that's just personal preference. I want to put that out there. Class D amplifiers can be extremely good at controlling the bass and so on. and can sound fantastic. Anyways, this is supposed to be a new module from Purify and when we take a look inside, what we find is two Purify modules for the left and for the right channels and we have the power supply. And for the power supply, it is using the original Hypex power supply. And what's interesting about the modules here from Purify is that it uses high quality artifact components as you see here. And since the actual module doesn't have enough gain, it uses a gain stage board that was designed by Purify as well. And this whole package is called the Eigentakt. And I may be totally butchering that name because I don't speak German, but my girlfriend who does speak German said, okay, it's, it's okay, so I'll go with that. So in terms of inputs and outputs, it has balanced inputs and also speak on for the speaker outputs and also a banana plug outputs as well. So the Eigentakt, when I hooked it up, I was just blown away. First of all, the sound and power that was coming out of this small little amplifier was just intense. The bass was tight, it went deep, and it had such grip in the bottom end that you would expect from a Class D amplifier, just only better. And one thing that I always thought that lacked from Class D amplifier was this muscularity. And this amplifier has it. Just like a Class AB or a Class A sound, it has that muscularity. It has that kind of grip in the bottom end and in the mid range is smooth. It sounds very, very easy going, yet it's giving you everything that you need to hear. And the high frequency is much the same. Now the thing is that the sound is very neutral, at least to my ears. 
but it really is pointless talking about the sound of this amplifier. And let me tell you why. Usually, I talk about the sound characteristic of the amplifier that adds to the chain of your sound that goes to your speakers, if you so will. But in this case, whatever your speakers sound like is what the amplifier sound like. It gets out of the way. So if I hook it up to a Focal Diablo 3 speakers, then you get that kind of transparency, transience, and you hear the Focal Diablo 3 for what it is. And when I hook it up to my JBL 4311s, which are also speakers that I know very well because I've worked with them in studios before, I've owned my, you know, multiple pairs, and I love these speakers. And I know exactly what they sound like. And when I hook it up to this particular amplifier, what I get is the JBL 4311 sound and nothing less, nothing more. It just gets out of the way in your musical chain. And if your speakers are capable of dipping lower, then it will deliver with perfect bass control. If your mid-range on the speakers are a little bit shouty, then it's gonna not lie to you. It's not gonna help your speakers in any way to perform better and be less shouty. And it's not going to exaggerate the shoutiness either. It is going to show you exactly what that speaker is meant to sound like. And I think you get the point here now, but the sound stage and imaging and all those sound elements is really dependent on your speakers. The amplifier gets out of the way. It's not going to solve any problems and it's not going to elevate any problems. And as you can imagine, I'm looking to purchase this amplifier if I can for my review purposes because it's a, such a beneficial tool as a reviewer to have because it's an amplifier that gets out of the way, especially for speaker reviews. Now in comparing it with some of the class A, B or class A designs in the past that I played around with like Kinky Studio Monoblocks or Supernate 3 and multiple other amplifiers, um, it is not going to be smooth sounding. It's not going to add that smooth characteristic like a tube amplifier would or some class A designs would. And it's not going to emphasize any type of muscularity um, like the Kinky Studio Monoblocks or it's not going to be as uh, transient and fast sounding like the Supernate 3. It is just a dead neutral sounding amplifier. And if you know that you really like the sound of your speakers and you want the amplifier to just get out of the way, this amplifier will do that. And I really hope that the Eigentact will be out in the market for the consumers as well as myself, but we'll have to put that on hold because we don't know yet. And another thing is that even if they don't, it is very promising that the NAD amplifiers started implementing the Purify modules. So that is also very promising and something that you should be watching out for in the future. So thank you very much for watching. I think that this Class D amplifier is perhaps my favorite Class D amplifier by far, so far, up to this point. And I urge you to take a look and keep an eye out for the Purify modules and the amplifiers that implement those modules. So make sure you're subscribed. If you aren't already, click that like button and I'll see you guys on the next one.